Wish me luck. Alright guys, moment of truth. The tuner just sent me an email and asked me to do a wide open throttle pull. So, being cautious as I am, I, uh, I asked him, okay, what is the max air fuel ratio, sorry down here, that we should see before I let out? Like what's the, the leanest it should go? So the higher the number. And he said, if it goes over 12.2, then I need to let out. So we're looking for it. I'm gonna be watching that like a hawk. I'll know what this is when we go back to the video. But right now, I don't know what we're gonna see. Train temperature, it's a little bit hot, but it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the windows most of the way up. And we're about to find out what it's gonna sound like. Um, not gonna lie, I'm kinda scared. So here we go. He wants a second roll. So we're gonna give him a second roll. Here we go. Now, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for the road to be all clear. I want no one in front of me. I want no one behind me. No bikers of any kind. No officers of the law, because you know we're here in Mexico. We are here in Mexico. So here goes. Hopefully this will be what we need. I'm gonna put it in two right now. We've got to get over about. We got to get to about 40 miles an hour, or it's gonna try to downshift. All right, I'm starting the data log now. Wish me luck. I can say without a doubt that was not faster than wide open throttle was before, but this has a lot of fuel and no timing. felt really soft like you could hear it in the timing it felt really soft but we'll settle this thing out and go watch the video and uh, you guys have already seen it but we'll watch it again Well, you saw it a little bit on the lean side. Don't want to be doing that. Lean conditions will definitely tear up a motor, definitely tear up Hemi pistons. So we got to be safe with that. Um, but I talked to Tuner and he's like, yeah, you need more fuel. Just get a Kenny Bell booster pump. And I was like, yep, well, I thought we were going to be going this route. I had a feeling, you know, that's what it was. It just wasn't getting fuel at the top. It was running out. So that's what we're going to do. So these Kenny Bell booster pumps, they, uh, they look like this, really small, you know, it's about the palm of my hand, maybe a little bigger than the palm of my hand, you know, the size of my hand maybe. And uh, basically how this thing works is we're going to tap into the one of these lines so we can get a boost reference for the sensor that kicks this thing on. And then we tap into the fuel pump wiring and then there's also a ground. And basically how this works is uh, we can run it on 17 volts or 20 volts because this one has a step up plug option. We have the step up plug, but we're not gonna use it. We don't need to go to 21 volts. But for the purposes of this truck, it's going to kick on at three pounds, and then it'll go from 12 volts to 17 volts, basically. And that's gonna make the pump run harder. The fuel regulator is still going to regulate pressure. It's still gonna regulate pressure at 60 PSI, and we're gonna be fine there. It's just gonna let it have more fueling 
flow capacity. So we're gonna get that thing thrown on and through the miracles of movie magic, we're gonna put it on right there. All right, so booster pump mounted right there on the frame rail, nice and clear. So I thought that I was just gonna hook this up to the relay uh, coming out of the tip em and wire it in there. I actually had to run a auxiliary fuel pump relay because it was tripping a code because that wasn't drawing the right current, blah, 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 that the computer wanted to see. So got this fuel pump relay wired in. I really don't want to get into how I did that, but I found a key on power that also comes on whenever the remote start is activated. And I ran it to that. It goes through the relay, the relay kicks on. And then from here, it passes that through to the boost pump to the pump and the pump runs when the key is on or when it's in remote start up here we've got the uh, boost activation switch so whenever we hit three pounds of boost it'll activate connecting its connections running telling the boost to pump that hey i'm ready for 17 volts it'll send 17 volts to the pump and we'll get more flow to the pump good it's running good again we're gonna make sure that we're getting the right amount of fueling on the road but can't do any wide open throttle pull still issue is that in hp tuners no matter what we do we can't get it to log the knock sensors so we can't know whenever it's got safe timing or too much timing in it so until we can get that sorted out one more issue another issue i know i know but until we get it sorted out no more wide open throttle pulls but we can still do fuel and still get the fuel dialed in, and that's what we're going to be doing. So, you guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.